like a pirate. Arr, Miss Ashley, I am looking to see. I am looking for treasure on the campsite. <laughs> well, Levi, you really look like a pirate searching for treasure. But you know what? There's no more gifts here. We've taken them home to get ready for Christmas, remember? Arr, I am so disappointed. Well, don't be sad, Levi. Christmas is coming. And we talked last week how we give gifts and we get gifts to celebrate our best gift, Jesus. But in today's Bible story, Levi and friends, we are going to hear about wise men. They were very, very smart. And do you know what? They went on a treasure hunt too. They were looking for our best treasure, Jesus. They were searching and looking and they followed the star to find Jesus, our very best gift. And we're going to hear in our story today about presents that they brought to Jesus because God sent Jesus. Jesus is born. Let's sing and celebrate. No crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Celebrate. Celebrate our Lord. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. Celebrate, yes, celebrate our Lord. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children. Take us to heaven to live with you there. Come on and celebrate. Yes, celebrate our Lord. Come on and celebrate. Jesus is born. 
for December. This will be the last time that Miss Ashley will get to do it with you because we're almost ready for Christmas break. So let's see how good you know it today. And you can keep saying it with your families and with your class, okay? Try it by repeating after me. Come and see what God has done. His awesome deeds for mankind. Psalm 66, 5. That was really, really good. Let's say it one more time, but I'm not going to help you very much, okay? See if you can do it with me. Come in. What God his deeds for, yes, mankind. Psalm 66, 5. Very good, friends. Now, let's turn up our listening ears. I'm going to get Levi, and we are going to tell today's Bible story about the wise men searching to see Jesus. All right, boys and girls, Miss Ashley has out her Bibles and they are open to the book of Matthew. Now, last week we heard about when baby Jesus was born. It was such great news. And we heard how angels told the shepherds and the shepherds went running. They went to go see Jesus. And when they saw Jesus, they worshiped and praised him. And then they went to tell everybody the good news about Jesus. Well, there were some others that wanted to see Jesus too, but they weren't so close by. There were men that lived far, far away that were very, very smart. They were wise. They were wise men, but they wanted to see Jesus too. They knew the word of God. They knew that God promised he would send his son and a savior for us. And they saw a very special star in the sky when Jesus was born. And so they were following this star to find our savior, Jesus. It was like they were searching for treasure, right? They were searching for Jesus, our very best gift. 
the wise men had to walk and go a very long way to try to find Jesus. It would have taken them a long time. They didn't find him the night he was first born. There's the wise men and they see the star. They might have even had to ride animals. It was such a long way. Well, they got all the way to Jerusalem. And when they got there, there was a king named King Herod. King Herod was like a grumpy king. The wise men saw King Herod and they said to him, where is the one that's been born that, that's king of the Jews? We followed his star and we have come to worship him. Well, that made King Herod all the more grumpy. He didn't want anybody to worship another king. He wanted to be the best king and the strong king. And he wanted the people to like him. So King Herod tried to trick the wise men. And he said, when you find this baby and you worship him, come back and tell me so that I can go worship him too. But King Herod really wasn't going to go worship Jesus. He just wanted to find Jesus and hurt him. God helped the wise men to know not to go back to see King Herod. And God moved the star that was in the sky. When they left King Herod's palace, there was the star. And it moved. And they followed it. And when it stopped, then the wise men knew that's where Jesus was. It stopped right over a house in Bethlehem. Now, Jesus, he would have been older. He probably could have even been two years old. It took a long time for the wise men to come. Do you see Jesus? So it wasn't the night he was born. But when the wise men found him, they saw him. They saw Jesus. And they worshipped him and praised him. And they gave him presents because God had sent his son. Jesus was born. These three gifts that the wise men gave to Jesus were very special presents. These aren't like gifts that you and I get on our birthdays. These gifts were special for God's son, the savior of the world, Jesus! Let's see what those three gifts would have looked like, okay? All right. The first gift they gave Jesus was gold. Gold is like treasure. It's like treasure for a king. Gold is a very precious metal, and it's worth a lot of money. It's very expensive. You can use gold to make money or jewelry, and that would be an expensive treasure for a king, for Jesus. All right, that was gift number one. Gift number two. The wise men gave gold and frankincense. Can you say frankincense? Frankincense. That was pretty good. Frankincense is a spice. And the priests, the preachers, they would use the frankincense and they would burn it. And it would have a smell. And that smell would go up through the air. And they used that to worship God. And they brought Jesus frankincense because he is part of God. He's God's son sent to save us. One, two, three. The third gift that they brought to Jesus was myrrh. Myrrh. Can you say myrrh? Myrrh. Good job. Myrrh is like oil. It's an expensive oil that would be used 
for a king. If somebody became king, they would pour oil on his head to show that he was king. Jesus, one day when we get to be with Jesus in heaven, he will be king over us. He'll be king of the world. Jesus came. God sent his son to save us from our bad choices that we call sin. Jesus came as a baby, but he would grow up and he would help us and teach us and love us. And then one day go to the cross for us to save us. Jesus loves us that much. And that's why his birthday is so special. Jesus is the best gift and the best treasure. He is the savior of the world. Let's pray and thank Jesus for coming and being born to save us. Jesus, we love you. We thank you that you were born and that you came to save us from our sin and our bad choices. And thank you that you love all people. You came for all people. God the Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus for us. Happy birthday, Jesus. We love you. And we thank you. Amen. Lily Levi, you still have your pirate costume on. Arr, I want to be smart and remember to search for Jesus. <laughs> well, even though you're going on Christmas break and you get to be home with your families, you can be smart too. Remember to keep looking to Jesus. Celebrate Jesus being born with your families. Levi and Miss Ashley wish you a very, very Merry Christmas celebrating Jesus. And we'll see you back for Bible Chat on video when we return. Hey, Levi, what do you say we close today by singing Happy Birthday to Jesus with our friends? I think that sounds great. Let's sing, friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday, Jesus. Bye. Bye.